In this video, I'm going to be doing an audio test on the HDW4631C power over Ethernet 6 megapixel DAWA camera. Now, the audio options that are available on your NVR are as follows. When you're setting up your camera, you'll have these options. Now, when you're looking at the encode, this is using Smart PSS, you will see that it's giving you the option of AAC, G711A, G711U, and G726. These are audio uh, standards that you can select as well as the audio frequency. So what I'm going to do in this video is just do a few informal audio tests so that you get an idea of the camera's performance but also the DAWA's offering of audio testing. Now, you do not have to use Smart PSS to do this. You can make your selections here on the uh, web login. This is the web login. And where you go to the encode function, you will see the similar options here. It'll say enable audio. And there are the audio standards, which you may choose, as well as the sampling rate. Now, you can also set this for the remote viewing or substream, maybe you're using your cell phone, or whatever it is, so you can also set it for the substream. Now, most important is the camera has to be audio enabled, because now I've got a second camera here, which is not audio enabled, so you will not see that menu item. So if you don't see the menu item, don't worry, it, uh, don't think that the NVR doesn't, uh, uh, cannot handle the audio, it's probably that you have not got an audio enabled camera. So I am using the camera as I've just told you that six megapixel camera and I'm going to do some of these audio tests. So without further ado, let's get cracking. I'm going to be using the uh, web interface but as I did say you can use smart in uh, smart PSS either way it will it will work. Right I'm I have a SPL meter here. I'm talking at a volume that does not go over 80 decibels. I'm talking between 65 decibels and 75 decibels. Right, this is the G711A, 8, kilo, 8 kilohertz sampling rate. And this is what it sounds like when you use the first protocol, G711A. Right, I'm talking at a volume between 65 and 75 decibels. This is still the G711A, but now at a higher frequency rate of a sampling rate of 64. I'm, this is the G711A, and I'm talking below 80 decibels. This is the G711MU protocol at 8 kilohertz sampling rate. And I'm talking below 80 decibels, and this is the G711MU protocol, speaking between 65 and 75 decibels. This is the G711MU protocol, now with the highest sampling rate of 64. I am talking at a SPL value lower than 80 decibels. I'm speaking between 65 and a 75 decibels. Okay, the, the, yeah. This is the G726 protocol with the lowest sampling rate of 8 kilohertz. This is the AAC protocol at 8 kilohertz sampling rate. I am speaking at a volume of less than 80 decibels, I am speaking between 65 and 75 decibels. This is the AAC protocol at the highest sampling rate of 64 kilohertz. I am speaking below 80 decibels between the range of, in the range of 65 to 75 decibels. This is the AAC protocol at the highest sampling rate. Right, so after hearing those voice notes, you get an idea that the higher the sampling rate, the clearer the voice sounds because the bandwidth or the frequency range that the voice has 
is wider. So you can sample more levels and it actually sounds better. But keep in mind that the wider the, I mean, the higher the sampling rate, the larger the file size. So you'll have to decide what's important to you. Uh, store, saving space or high quality audio samples. Now you might be wondering what is the difference between the G711, the U, the A and the AAC. Well, the G711A is more for the time division multiplexing. This is the, the uh, audio format that would normally be outside of United States, more, more for GSM and the packet switch telephone network, but that uses uh, time division multiple access time division multiple access so these are j different uh, formats and the U standard it's mainly uh, in the United States then the AAC well you can wiki that this is the improved standard which is supposed to come after the mp3 format and obviously the compatibility with AAC is very high at the moment you'll see it on many home theater systems can deal with AAC so my advice is to Always use the audio format that is compatible with the uh, software that you are using. For example, I like the uh, what's that uh, MP4 protocol, and therefore I standardize on the AAC with the highest bit rate, uh, and therefore the highest uh, what do you call it frequency uh, sampling rate. And that brings me to the end of my video and I hope this was helpful. So thanks for watching.